So it's a frequent call we get a lot um, where they had a trip breaker. Easiest thing to do, well, obviously if you know which one it is, currently it's this, this breaker right here is tripped. It's in the middle position. Um, when you find a breaker in the middle position and not the complete on position, this one tripped for whatever reason it is, something shorted out, uh, you overloaded the brake or anything like that, um, it will go into this position. To completely reset it, you have to flip it completely off and then back all the way to the on position. If it's in the trip position, which is this position, if you just flip it on, it doesn't actually reset the breaker so you won't be sending power back out. If you find it was tripped and you go to reset it, shut it off, turn it back on and it trips again, something is obviously causing it to trip, you are gonna wanna call somebody to come take a look. A lot of times if you have a, a space heater, uh, plug it in, it may trip your breaker because it's overloading the circuit. Unplug that, try it again, see if it resets and clears. And at that point, you know, you know that was your cause of, of the trip breaker. Yeah, all panels, um, all panels have a lifespan. Um, about 20 years is, is the average for each panel. All manufacturers have a, a different lifespan for their panels. Breakers as well have a lifespan. So either your panel or your breakers, either way, they, they do have lifespans. Good sign of an old panel or outdated panel. Um, if it's original to a house and a house is, you know, about 20, 25 years, your, your panel's getting to the point where it's going to need a replacement. If you ever see any rust building up on any of these breakers or even the cover itself, um, it's something you, you're going to want to take a look inside the panel to see, see what kind of shape it is inside. Um, you could be getting water in, da deep ba uh, damp basement, uh, anything like that where you see obvious signs of damage. Yeah, so these are these breakers here are your basic breaker. Um, today they have something they call arc fault or fire guard breakers. Um, they're they're kind of like a little computer built in where they they monitor the wires constantly and they will trip if they find something that's causing the issue. Um, they stop I think 98% of house fire, so it's definitely definitely a good thing to have. If you don't have them, you, you should consider putting them in. Today the average panel is a 200 amp 40 circuit, which this panel here is. Um, a lot of the older homes have a 100 amp panel, which is half the size of this usually. Um, if you're thinking about doing any type of central air, if you don't have any central air or adding any type of you know, bigger draw of ACs, electric stoves, anything like that, you may want to consider upgrading if you don't have a 200 amp. But well, a 200 amp 40 circuit is, is usually the best, best way to go. So like a, a jacuzzi or AC or Yeah, anything, you know, 40, 50 amps, 60 amps. Okay. Um, yeah, hot tubs, pools, central air, all that stuff just has a bigger amperage draw. I should have a 200 amp. Definitely, yeah. Okay. A minimum, yeah.